guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the last webinar that we are going to have with third grade. We are going to read the last chapter of the book Bostesaurio. And it's the last webinar, not because we are not going to have library class anymore, because we are going to have some sessions and are going to be a little bit different so I can see you and talk with you better. Okay, we're going to broadcast to see who of you are here already. Let's check. Hi guys, welcome to library class. Sorry for being a little bit late. I was making these worry dolls with um, first grade students in another library class that I have before. And well, today's our last webinar because we're going to read the last chapter of the book, Post the Saurio. Mm, I'm going to change a little bit the way that we are going to have library class just because I would like you to enjoy it more. I want to make crafts with you. I want to read books with you. And especially I would like to see you and to hear you, okay? So I'm going to let you know how are we going to have the class in the following weeks soon, but not right now, because today I just want to read with you the last chapter of the book. I'm going to read the chat to see who of you are here already. Hello, me, say Johan, Johanna, eh, Karen Lam, that's Alec. Hi, Alec. Hi, Sophia. No, why? What happened, Miss? What happened? What happened with what? Sophie Rivers? Nothing but happened. The only thing is that I would like to see you. So instead of having webinars where I can see you, just read the chat, we are going to have Zoom classes so I can see your faces and I can hear your voices, okay? That's the only thing. I'm going to tell you how are we going to do this because it's going to change a little bit and it's going to be, I guess, way easier for you to do it because webinars can be tricky sometimes. Uh, I send you a Google form for you to tell me what can we do better in library class and some of you have respond to those um, forms, that's great. That information helps me to make your class better because it's your class. So, hi, hi Nico, okay. Remember guys that the chat is for talking between us, not just say whatever you want to, because Miss Paulina, she can read everything that you are saying. So I'm going to put the chat here open so you can see me better and we're going to read the last chapter of the book post audio thank you for helping me reading this book we read it together all this time so are you ready for reading the last chapter tomorrow is my birthday maximiliano Lava. that's great happy birthday to you okay so who is ready for the book can you write yes 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 so so we can see oh miss paulina just realized that we have more chapters <gasps> chapter eight and chapter nine, but chapter nine is just one page. So it's super easy, easy. So Miss Pauline is going to start reading. Here we go. Hello, Gisela. Hello, Julia, Julia. Okay, feliz cumpleaños, yes, okay. We can start. Tan cha cha chan, cha 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 chan, chan, chan cha chan. <laughs> no, no, tanto suspenso. Y dice así. Para buena suerte de Max, el bostesaurio había expulsado primero los brontolitos chocolatosos. Recuérdense que en el último capítulo vimos cómo Max tuvo que hacer muchas matemáticas para poder abrir los brontolitos de chocolate y hacer que el bostesaurio uh, eruptara toda la ciudad. Entonces dice así. Para buena suerte de Max, el bostesaurio había expulsado primero los brontolitos chocolatosos. Estos le sirvieron de colchón a todo lo que fue arrojando después. Desde el helicóptero que recién llegaba al lugar, los de Esperezarse y el jefe Urchiga vieron cómo de la boca del monstruo salían la mitad de la ciudad. Imagínense eso, de un monstruosaurio saliendo toda la ciudad así. Mientras más cosas eran expulsadas, más pequeño se hacía el monstruosaurio. Al final, cuando ya lo había sacado todo, el dinosaurio se redujo al tamaño de cada una de las figuras coleccionables de Max. De ser así gigante, al final, después de haber sacado todo, se hizo ese tamaño, el dinosaurio chiquitito como una figura de Kinder Sorpresa. Really, that's really cool. That's awesome. 
Y ahora sí estamos en el último capítulo. Y dice así. Luego de aquella aventura, Max recibió de premio seis medallas, seis trofeos, seis diplomas, seis visitas guiadas a la fábrica de los brontolitos para él y cinco acompañantes. El señor Omar Carita, el dueño de la fábrica, le entregó personalmente los dinosaurios que le faltaban a su lista. What a lucky boy, so the, this, the owner of the fabric just give him all the things that he need. Like all the tiny figures that he was collecting, a lot of prizes, he's so lucky. Too many awards, yes, I like too many awards. Todos estaban agradecidos con aquel niño por haber rescatado la otra mitad de la ciudad. No les enseñé los dibujos. Aquí está Max volando con todo el chocolate. Y lo mejor de todo fue que Max pudo conservar el bostesaurio. ¡Oh! Se pudo quedar con el bostesaurio chiquito, que desde ese día se convirtió en el mejor de los ejemplares de su colección. Y colorín colorado, esta aventura con Max se ha acabado. Y mira, aquí está el bostesaurio bebé, que se quedó chiquitito. Y sus aventuras con Antonio González, chacapum, terminaron. So that's the end of the story. Ariana says, so cool, I want to be him. I would like to be him too. Thank you for reading this book with me, guys. I really enjoy it. And I want to show you something that probably some of you already saw because I posted on my YouTube channel. It's a video about another book of Antonio Gonzalez. I would like to know if you know the name of other book of Antonio Gonzalez. Thank you for reading this book, says Dana. You're welcome, Dana. Guys, do you know another name of a book of Antonio Gonzalez? No? No? More books, more time, more sombrerón. Huh? No, no, no. Okay. Well, another book from Antonio Gonzalez, it's called Mi Moco. It's not a story about mocos, don't worry. So today for our special last webinar, I'm going to show you a puppet show that he made for telling the story of Mi Moco. I'm not going to show it all to you because it's long. So we are going to start watching it. And if you want to see it again, or if you want to see the end of the story, I'm going to post the video on YouTube too. So, and on CISO, so you can watch it later. So let's see what's really funny and cool. I'm going to show you the video of Mimoko. Maybe some of you already saw it. Antonio Gonzalez made this video for, our, for the Facebook page of the school. So on, during the summer, I post the video on Facebook too. And now, I, I know that some of that you don't have Facebook, so that's why I'm going to show it to you here. But maybe your parents show it to you before. So I'm going to uh, connect the volume so you can listen to it better. And we're going to see just a short part of the story of Mimoco, that is another book of, of Antonio Gonzalez. He's a Guatemalan writer, don't forget. Moco, what happened? I have it. I'm going to show you the video. I'm going to share my screen, and whenever you can see my screen, I want you to tell me, please. Miss Paulina, yes, we can see your screen. Miss Paulina, thank you, thank you. Okay. So I'm going to share it right now. Uh oh. What is it? I can't find it. I'm going to stop recording right now. So for the ones that are watching this on YouTube, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you want to see the video of Mimoku, it's also here. So I'm going to stop recording so I can share my screen. Stop recording.